this is Annette Manius with Oasis Solutions, and I appreciate you coming today. And our subject this afternoon is General Ledger in Sage 100. So if you will, if look to the left of my screen where I have my favorites, and I'm going to go down to my General Ledger section. Uh, if you haven't looked at our previous video about the Sage 100 uh, tour, uh, you should go back and do that because it tells you about the screens and, and things, uh, the favorites and some other things on the screens to help you familiarize yourself with it. So I'm going to assume that either you've done that or you're going to do it, and I'm just going to dive right into General Ledger. So first thing I have is account maintenance, and this is where I can set up accounts, um, modify things on accounts, and also I can look at information on accounts. Um, the general ledger, you can have 35 characters, it's alphanumeric, with 10 different segments. So um, it depends on how you want to uh, slice and dice your, your general ledger. Uh, of course, you can report any of those segments. Um, so it's, it's extremely flexible with that. Um, so I'm going to show you an account number that I have some information on. So this is our insurance account, and uh, you can see I have a couple of different um, segments here. And on here, on the right-hand side, I have my fiscal year, and then I can have as many years in there as I want. So you could, uh, on this demo date, it goes back to 2011, and see the information and print financial statements or, you know, just look up the information there. And you can keep as many years as you want. We set that up in the beginning. Um, so here I, I started on my transactions tab. So that shows me, here's an accounts payable entry. Here's the the vendor on that entry. Um, and then uh, it also shows me the invoice there too. So if I if I grab that and pull that out, there's my invoice number and then the dollar amount. And I can double click on that and it drills me down into that actual AP invoice uh, inquiry. So I can go to the lines and see that. The nice thing about that too is I don't know if you've ever looked at an accountant, but what is the other side of that? What other transactions were on there? So from here, I can look at this journal and see what else was on there. So I had another expense uh, for $1,000 that went to miscellaneous expense. So that's really nice. And then, of course, you got your credit to accounts payable. Uh, so that's nice. So that's under transactions. You can see every transaction from every module, accounts payable, accounts receivable, inventory, sale, you know, sales order, purchase order, wherever it comes from is under that transaction tab. So I go back to the main, you have groupings um, in, your, in your GL, and then I can uh, say whether this account is active or inactive or it's been deleted. You can also do cash flow statements. So you would say what kind, what type of cash flow it is, and then uh, be able to put that on your cash flow statements. I have a history also. So from here on the uh, again up on the right, I can change years. So I'm just going to use my current year 2020, and I can see the balance on that. Um, and then I have a variance as well. So here's my activity. And then you can use original budget. I can use, uh, you know, maybe the prior year activity there. So I can do a lot of um, looking at that data. And again, you can do that re with reports. This is just looking at it uh, on an account level. And then up on the right, um, you can have budgets inside Sage 100. So uh, it's very simplistic as far as um, what most customers do is they um, they export their information out to Excel, in, import the budgets, and or put the budgets in, and then we import it back in. There's a budget uh, import feature built into the system. So once you do that, you can report budget to actual. You can also, let's say if I have my budget and I think, you know, mid-year, I think, gosh, I need to increase that by 5% um, on different accounts. You can do that as well. That's all built into the budgeting uh, piece of Sage 100 G, uh, General Ledger. And then also you have a button up here that's a memo code. 
and that can uh, hold any kind of memo about that account that you want, um, any kind of information. You'll also see that in data entry when we go into data entry uh, as well. So that's account maintenance, shows you a little bit about that. Um, when I have my uh, accounts here and I do a lookup, it shows my whole uh, general ledger accounts and then I can uh, say I want to look by description and see if I have one that's called office supplies um, and then I can pull that account up. So uh, just a, a look up there, I can create my own uh, lookup list and, and saved uh, list as well. So if I go back over here on my left under my favorites, I have general journal entry and that is where we put our general journals in. So I like to use GJE, but, you know, it depends on what you want to use. And then this is your next uh, sequential entry number. So I can put today's date. And then if I had a reversing date, so if I wanted to reverse that, uh, maybe next month I could do that. The journal comment, um, you can see my little slide down here on the, on the right. You could put whatever you want to on this, on this comment. So it can be, uh, you know, anything about, you can copy and paste into it, so it can be any explanation that you want. So, you know, I, I, I hate it when I go in and I look at things and I think that like a like three word explanation of what that journal entry is. So it'd be nice to have a more explanation so you can do that. And then you can determine uh, when you print reports, if you want this whole thing to print out or not, or if you just want part of it. And then if I go to the lines, it has my, um, my GL account numbers that I want. So I'll just do this to cash. I wouldn't normally do that, but I'll do that. And I can do any kind of comment I want there. And then again, uh, do a look up and I'll say description. And if you usually do it by description, you can default it to that. So I'm here and I can just balance that entry. So the nice thing about Sage 100 is I can make this grid uh, whatever I want to be. So let's say that I have a, an entry that's a whole bunch of debits, and I don't want this comment down here either. Uh, account number debit, account number debit, account number debit. Then I'm ready for my credit. I can push this up here and then post the credit. So it's more of an ease of, of data entry uh, also. And then I can push this description up here as well. So once I set that for my user, that's the way my grid will look from that point forward. So that's really nice. The other thing, if I look on the on the right, I'll do an accept here and I'll show you this, this option here. Uh, so if I start to do another journal entry over on the right, I can do a copy from. So if I said, oh, this is the same entry I made in December, maybe it's the same account numbers, but I'm going to change some, some dollar amounts. I can do a copy from another entry that's in there, or I can do a standard. So uh, the, a really good example of that is if you use an outsourced payroll. So it's the same account numbers every month, but maybe not the same dollars. You could just do a standard. It's kind of like a saved uh, journal entry. So you would pull that up and have all the GLs on there, and then you just fill in the dollar amounts. So there's functionality there um, as well. Back over to my left, I can also do recurring journal entries. So if it's something that, uh, you know, maybe depreciation, amortization, that type of thing, uh, you're able to do that on here as well and, and post those every month. And then some of the um, reports that are here um, are, uh, of course, there's a lot of them, but there's a traditional tr uh, trial balance, financial statements, uh, general ledger detail report. Um, I'll show you this one. This is nice uh, because it has a lot of options, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I do. I have one that, it, uh, that I say that I use every month because I like, there's certain account numbers that I like to analyze. So I'll have a report setting saved for myself and I'll just call this one monthly. And um, and all I have to do, and then I'll, I'll say what account numbers every month I like to analyze. And usually it's sales and cost of goods sold. Um, 
and uh, I'll put those in and save that. So every month I'll just pull up this report setting and change the date and then I'm ready to go. Um, so it makes it really easy to, uh, to do that. I can also make changes. The system uses crystal reports and you can make changes to the reports pretty easily. Um, either we can help or uh, you can do it on your own. Uh, so there's an example of the of the general ledger detail report. Pretty basic. There's your account number. There's the the data, uh, credits and debits, and uh, hopefully, uh, so there's there's the end of that. Those are account numbers that I chose. So pretty pretty standard. And then we're I was talking earlier about budget. Um, so you can do a budget maintenance, and uh, you can. Uh, maintain budgets in here, or like I said, you can export out to Excel and then do your budget. And then there's a budget um, uh, import that you can do, and it'll bring it into these budget tables. And then you can do comparisons uh, with your budgets and things. So it makes it uh, makes it really easy. And then you can also do this is the budget revision entry. So this is where I was saying that uh, what what's my budget uh, that I want to revise, maybe my original budget, uh, and then I can base it on another uh, year or whatever I want to do and say I want to change it by 5%, for example, and then I can do just certain account numbers as well, and it, and it, will, it will do that. I've seen some people who will, um, that aren't real budget heavy, that will say, okay, here's, I imported this 2020 budget, and then for 2021, I'm just going to take all my expenses and increase them by 5%. I'm not going to export and, and do all that. I'm just going to increase those by 5%. So you can do that very easily with that budget revision entry. Uh, makes it very flexible to do that. The financial statements in Sage 100, there's a couple different options. So the ones here are the ones that are kind of out of the box. So I have an income statement, cash flow balance sheet. Here's some that that we've created for different um, different customers, and they're pretty basic. I can do a financial report here. I can do a rolling trend and some things like that. But there's also another module that comes with the system that allows you to do more customized financial statements. So if you had a um, very specific way you need the financial statements to look or be broken down. Uh, we would use that module uh, to do that, uh, and that's SAGE Intelligence Reporting. And it, again, it comes with SAGE 100, so you would have that module. So that's all I have for today. Um, I hope this was helpful, and it gave you, gave you a, a quick review of what the general ledger does. And if you have any questions, please let us know.